Lord Renard was once one of the most powerful figures in the Lib Dems, but for him, sorry seems to be the hardest word. His party leader could very well regret his failure to apologise, because Nick Clegg's authority is now on the line. What Nick Clegg has rightly done, and I'm doing it again this morning, is making clear that a lack of apology is totally unacceptable, that right. we have to uh, therefore take steps if, if that isn't forthcoming, that his view is, and my view is, that Lord Renard should not be readmitted to the group in the House of Lords until he's made a full uh, apology for the, for the serious harm that's being caused by his behaviour. The snag is that under the party's rules, it's not Nick Clegg, it's the Lib Dem peers who decide who can join their group. Most of them appear to want Lord Renard back, and they're talking tough. If Chris Renard takes up his seat alongside his Lib Dem colleagues here in the House of Lords tomorrow, it will be in direct defiance of his party leader. And if Nick Clegg tries to stop him, he could face legal action. But if he doesn't, he could look weak. And some party members will say he simply isn't serious enough about women's rights. Our Lords, does the noble Earl, the Minister... Allegations against Lord Renard of sexual harassment couldn't be proven beyond all reasonable doubt by an internal inquiry. But he was urged to apologise for causing distress. One of Lord Renard's accusers says Nick Clegg shouldn't stick to the letter of the rules tomorrow. He has a much bigger responsibility. We are expecting him to show some moral leadership on our behalf and all of the many women and men who followed this story that we are expecting Nick to have the confidence to say it's not acceptable to have somebody who is, who is, who is under such a cloud um, to be back on the red benches calling himself a Liberal Democrat. Supporters of Chris Renard say he can't apologise because that would look like an admission of guilt and there's no rule that says he can't return to the Lords. Lord Renard has denied throughout that he committed any touching of the sexual kind of which he has been accused. This matter should have been dealt with in a judicial and judicious and balanced way and should now be laid to rest according to the party's rules. But the man who conducted the Lib Dems internal inquiry says only an apology is likely to heal divisions. Anyone I'd have thought of um, reasonable manners uh, knowing that they'd upset someone, even if inadvertently, would surely wish to apologise to them. But if that apology from Chris Renard isn't forthcoming tomorrow, he could cause the biggest crisis yet in Nick Clegg's leadership.